Hello, hello, hello to everyone today. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, I so appreciate you as everyone else for being here with me today. I'm Lori from Art Lore. Cheers. Uh, 15 by 30 today. I have not done a 15 by 30 in a while. Um, I think anyway, it, it, it's not ringing a bell with me for some reason. Um, I want to do um, kind of like a linear bloom and uh, I, I'm probably going to tilt it. Uh, I, I've been trying to uh, venture out and do a few more things than just simple blooms all the time. So yes, that's what we're doing today. So I've got some cute colors, um, pretty colors, I should say. I'm kind of on a blue kick. And I saw on YouTube, somebody did this most beautiful, kind of like a linear bloom. It was in some blues. And I thought, okay, I'm doing that. And I am going to try to find out who you are. I uh, closed my iPad and when I opened it back up, everything was gone. So I can't, I can't give you a shout out, but um, you probably know who you are. So with all that being said, I'm going to try to find out who you are because I really want to um, support you as well. So let's get down to the canvas. Let's have a swig and let's make a mess. Okay, and I'd also like to apologize for my dirty, dirty, dirty table, but I just did a ring pour and um, I have plastic on top of my plastic then I have plastic on top of the plastic on top of the plastic for my spinner to sit on. And um, it's just like a domino effect of, um, of a mess. So uh, PPG, we are going to, I'm stirring it very, very, very slowly um, because there was a little bit of striations of the paint that they mix it with sitting up on top. So I wanna get that incorporated into the gallon. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna pour right here. And that should do it. Nice chunky monkey pillow. There we go. All right, oh, I better take my rings off. All right. Let me quickly take those off. There we go. All right, so uh, first one up is um, a primary element. This is a, a primary element. Blue by you, is that gorgeous or what? Yes, it is so beautiful. I just love this color and it is rich and bright and absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to go right here, just like that. Okay, next up is Xanadu Gold and this is a Chroma. And uh, colors are rather fluid today. Um, not as thick as normal. I need a towel. Here we go. I had a very big one. This one is uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Rolio. This is Rolio. And the color is Celeste Blue. It doesn't really look blue to me, but whatever. Um, we're going to go right here. I want to see that color for sure. It's in this sea glass family, uh, a little darker than the sea glass, just a scant darker, uh, but very beautiful. This one here is cerulean blue, and this is just Liquitex Basics, and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of that on there as well. I'm hoping that this blue here, this cerulean, will work okay in with everything else. I wanted to add in just a little bit more of a 
muted blue in with this? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I need my little soapbox here. Okay, three to one. Australian Floetrol, and I am doing Mars Black. Okay, hold on. Oh, I had a panic attack. I thought I forgot to turn the camera on. Alrighty, let's do this. We're just going to go right there, but I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just add a little bit more. Oh, I'm getting my beautiful little halo. And we're going to go just like that. And add just a little bit more right there. Okay, off we go. And it is sinking a little bit, so that means my paints are a little thin, but it'll work. The colors are phenomenal. I'm very happy with the color palette. Oh, that Blue Bayou is just exquisite. Okay, so let's just do a little puffer Rooney here. Um, right there. Ooh, is this pretty. Um, I'm just gonna be patient and let some things just settle down for a moment. And we'll see what happens there. And while we're doing that, let me move my step stool. It's actually, it's actually cradle wood boards, four of them still in a package and I'm standing on that. Um, because I'm every time I go out, I don't think you need a step stool. Okay, let's just do that to ensure that to come over. I'm gonna have to add just a little bit of paint there. And we'll do that right now. Hopefully I won't set this in something yucky. There we go. I uh, took a uh, drill and I drilled in some holes into my stir stick so that uh, when I stir my paints, I have a much better flow uh, stirring the paints and you don't have to be so vigorous when you stir. I don't know if you can see those holes or not, but there's holes in the stick. I drilled three of them in there. And you can stir super slow and you know that you're not going to be distorting all that paint in there to cause those wretched bubbles. Okay, this is looking really good, but I saw something over here. Let me see, I thought it was a cat hair. Um, Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe it was on the other side. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Where did you go? Oh, here you are. No, I think that's just paint. It's just a little striation of paint. But you're going to go bye-bye. Okay. Oh, she's so pretty. I want to just bring this section that way, just a bit. And I'm just tipping it super duper slow. 
and I'm also tipping it a little at a time, higher and higher, to get that to start moving without it crushing and killing everything. Okay, so now let's make sure. Okay, we're good there. I'm gonna grab my trusty board here. We're gonna do one tiny little spin just to see where this takes us. Oh my goodness, you can hear weird noises from underneath. I need to fix that because it's bugging me really badly. It's the um, plastic on top of plastic. There we go. Okay. Um, I think, yes, I want to tip this way a little bit. Sometimes that stick, I think I should probably make that stick a little bit um, smaller because it's always in my way. Always in my way. We're going to do it just like that. And maybe that will help. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go this way just a little bit, just a wee bit. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh boy, I got my palette knife into the black paint, into my mess. Okay, we're going to just do that, incorporate a little bit of extra oomph so it goes off. All right, got you right there. Okay, now we're gonna push you this way. I have pins on the bottom. All right, let's do this. We're going to spin again and then I'm going to tilt um, again. Catching my paint. Okay, let's take a peek here. Uh, all right. Oh, she's looking really pretty. We do have some paint coming off, which is wonderful. Okay, let's do this again. I just would like to see that corner fill in just a tiny little bit more. And I think I may have to introduce a little more paint. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, she sure is pretty though. What a beautiful, beautiful color palette. Okay, let's do this. Oh my, isn't that pretty? All right, off we go. Okay. Okay, that paint did come off the corner there, which is good. Let's slow this pony down. We still have paint coming off, but not nearly as much. I'm going to take a little peek in the center with my skewer. And, um, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, but I have to wipe my foot off. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that was awful. I guess I shouldn't be barefoot. I'm barefoot all the time. Oh my goodness, it is, oh my Lord, I just stepped all in it now. Okay, this is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm madly in love with it. I love this color palette. And the, uh, the Blue by You and this uh, Celeste Blue is from my friend Andrea. She gifted me these two colors. So thank you, my dear. And um, I'm madly in love with these two colors. They are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I have to do this again. Okay, let me take you down and show you the wet result. All right, here we go. Let's get you in focus. 
You know, some of the colors incorporated with each other and I see a hint of violet. And I don't know if it's from the Blue Bayou, um, but I kind of think it is. It shifted and gave this, can you see the violet in there? Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. I don't think you're in focus. There you are. Um, stupid camera. I think my phone is dying a slow death. I think I need to put this on my Christmas list. But can you see the, the beautiful shimmer of the um, Blue Bayou in there? It's absolutely gorgeous. And there is the Celeste, um, what was it called? Celeste Blue, which, see, I just don't feel like that's a blue, but that's what they're calling it. But they didn't ask me. Uh, working our way up, cells are absolutely gorgeous. It just uh, really, I think this would be the way to orientate it. I'm not going to be able to get too close. Um, so, so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful cells. This is super duper cool in there. Uh, traveling upwards, you can see the shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is just beautiful up in here. So pretty. Beautiful lacing. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. I love the top section. I'm glad that that came up closer to the corner. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like I did a bigger one of this. It wasn't a 15 by 30. It was a 16 by 40. So that's where I was thinking maybe I did do one like this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and share. If you haven't already, that would be so appreciative of me. And I appreciate you letting me in your home. Uh, you guys all have a wonderful day. And until that next canvas, bye.